Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to learn about the magnification equation for lenses. Now you should have already watched the video on the magnification equation for mirrors. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description box below and please watch that video first. This magnification equation is very similar. We'll find the same formula, the same um, descriptions of heights and distances and so on. Um, but in the previous video, I would have gone through a lot more explaining. In this video, since I expect you to have watched that video already, I'll go a little bit quicker through those conventions. So we have two learning goals here today. The first is to describe the conventions used for lenses, and the second is to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, or image distance when given the other required variables. So let's just start off with the conventions. We need to know how we describe the different distances, heights, and so on with our lenses. So we have here a ray diagram with a converging lens. You can see the original object in blue and the image in green. So the height of the original object is HO, height of the object. The height of the image is HI, H for height, I for image. The distance between the object and the optical center is DO, D for distance, O for object. The distance between the image and the optical center is DI, D for distance, I for image. And the distance between the optical center and the focus is F for focal length. We have those same um, descriptors when we're dealing with diverging lenses. So we have DO, the distance between the object and the uh, optical center. Um, whoops, DI was supposed to show up next, let's see, there's DI. DI is the distance between the image and the optical center. F is the distance between the focal, or sorry, between the focus and the optical center. It stands for focal length. We also have HO, height of the object, and HI, height of the image. So let's take a look at our conventions. So like we've seen before with the other magnification equation and also with the thin lens equation, sometimes we put in a positive or negative sign into our equation, even though all the distances that we measure, all the heights that we measure, all the focal lengths that we measure are all positive values because we can only ever um, calculate a positive number, or sorry, we can only ever measure a positive number. So if we take a ruler, there's no negative side on the ruler, it's all positive but sometimes we'll input into the equation a negative number to indicate that we're dealing with certain um, types of lenses or certain types of images. So to start off, DO is always positive. So the object distance in every single uh, problem that you do will be a positive number. The image distance, though, can be positive or negative. If it's a real image, it will be positive, and if it's a virtual image, it will be negative. So if in the question it tells you that the image is five centimeters from the lens, but it tells you that it is a virtual image, in your equation, you will write negative five. Even though the actual distance is five centimeters, because it told you it's a virtual image, you need to write negative five to get the correct answer. For the height of the object, it is always going to be positive in every question. The height of the image is positive when the um, image is upright, and it is negative when the image is inverted. So again, if it tells you the image is three centimeters tall, but it's inverted, you'll write negative three into your equation. For a converging lens, the focal length is positive, and for diverging, the focal length is negative. And then for magnification, if the object is upright and virtual, it is positive, and if it's inverted and real, it will be negative. So these are all our conventions, and we need to make sure we're adding those positive and negative signs in correctly to get the correct answer in the end. So here's our magnification equation. This should look familiar to the magnification equation that we saw for mirrors. It comes in three pieces because there are two equal signs, which means we can sort of mix and match the uh, different parts of the equation to get three separate equations. So those three separate equations are shown in the colors below the original equation, and that's just taking the different pieces. So the first part takes the magnification and the height and doesn't deal with the distance because that's the next part of the equal sign, we can ignore that. A real equation only has one equal sign in it in order for us to be able to actually do calculations with it. 
The next piece disregards the height and only deals with magnification and distance. And then the last piece gets rid of magnification and only deals with the heights and distances. So based on the question that we're given, we need to figure out which of those three equations we'll actually be using so that we have the information we need in order to actually calculate for the unknown variable. So let's take a look at an example here. A converging lens produces a virtual image of height 62 centimeters. The original object is 21 centimeters from the lens and is 12.4 centimeters in height. What is the distance of the image to the lens? So let's find all the information in here. First of all, it tells us that we're dealing with a converging lens and that it produces a virtual image that has height of 62 centimeters. The original object is 21 centimeters from the lens and is 12.4 centimeters in height. So we have lots of information here. Let's write down what we know. So we'll start off with our givens. So converging lens produces a virtual image of height 62 centimeters. Um, here we'll put our height, so HI, and it will be 62 centimeters. Now, why did I choose positive 62 instead of negative 62? Well, whenever we're dealing with a virtual image with a converging lens, we know from our ray diagrams that they'll be upright. And upright images are positive numbers. If it said that it was an inverted image or a real inverted image, then we would put a negative sign for the height. Uh, the original object uh, is this far from the lens, so that will be the distance of the object, 21 centimeters. I chose positive 21 for DO because DO is always a positive number. And the original object has this height, so D, sorry, HI is 12.4 centimeters in height. Again, HO I chose to be a positive number because HO is always positive based on our conventions. So what is required of us? We want to know the distance of the image to the lens, so that's di. So now let's do some analysis here. Which part of the equation are we going to use? Well, we're given information about heights and distances, and we want to know information about distances. We have no information about magnification, so we'll take that piece out of the equation and just deal with the heights and with the distances. So we're going to use the equation that says hi over ho equals negative di over do. And if we rearrange this equation for di, which is the piece that we're missing, we have negative hi times do over ho. So let's substitute and solve now. di will equal negative, and our hi is 62 centimeters times DO, which is 21 centimeters, over HO, which is 12.4 centimeters. And if we do all of that math, we're going to end up with negative 110 centimeters. So for our sentence, woo, for our sentence, we're going to say that the virtual image is 110 centimeters from the lens. And let's take a pause here and see if our answer makes sense. So we have negative 110 centimeters. We know that distances for images are negative when they're virtual. If we look back at the question, it tells us we're dealing with a virtual image. So we know that virtual image having a negative number and our answer was a negative number, so we know that we have the correct sign. So we're definitely on the right um, path here. So this is how we would answer a question like that. Let's take a look at another example. A converging lens produces an inverted image of height 13.65 centimeters, which is magnified 0.27 fold. What is the height of the original object? We have lots of information here, let's find it. So we have a converging lens. It produces an inverted image 
of height 13.65 centimeters, which is magnified 0.27 fold. What is the original height of the object? So let's start off with what we're given. So we're given the uh, height of the image, so HI, and it says it's 13.65 centimeters. But in the question, it tells us that it's an inverted image, so we know that it will be negative 13.65. So negative 13.65 centimeters. Magnification tells us the magnification is 0.27 fold. However, it tells us it's an inverted image, and inverted images have negative magnifications, so we'll write negative 0.27. And then the required is the height of the original object, which is HO. So that's our question mark. Now what part of the equation are we going to be using? We have information about heights and magnification, and we need to find the height of the original object. So we use the piece of the equation that has to do with heights and magnifications and gets rid of the distances. So that part of the equation looks like this. Magnification equals HI over HO. And if we rearrange that equation, we have HO equals HI over M. So let's substitute and solve here. HO equals, our HI is negative 13.65 centimeters over, whoops, that's a little wobbly, over negative 0.27. And if we calculate that out, we're going to end up with 51 centimeters. So let's write our sentence here. The object is 51 centimeters in height. And if we pause here and just take a look at the signs again, our HO is a positive number. HO always must be a positive number, so we know that we've done something correct here. So this is how you would solve this type of problem. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the conventions used for lenses, and you should be able to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance or image distance when given the other required variables. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye.